Miles, first and foremost, we just had Aaron in here. We could hear Tyrese yelling at him in the background to talk about the dunk. You had your hands on your head running back. What would you think of, of that play, that sequence from him? Um, Man, it's just – I'm happy for him, man, because he's passed, you know, a couple stretch been great for him. You know, he's getting an opportunity that I think he's he's deserved. And, um, you know, in the moment, I, I didn't know how to react. I just – you know, I knew it was capable, but to see it live and in person, I mean, I'm just, now i got to hold him accountable. you got to see it a lot more. You said you all were encouraging him to dunk more, and then he had a bunch of other successful plays down the stretch to help you guys win this game. What did you see from him in the fourth quarter as he kind of ignited? Um, I just saw his confidence rising, because even that big play at the end of the stretch where I think he got the and one or it made a tough layup, you know, that's not something I don't think he would have did two, three weeks ago, you know. So it's, it's a beautiful thing to see his confidence growing you know, at this point in the season, because, you know, you know, him as well as everybody else, we're all going to need it, you know, uh, with the stretch that we got coming up, you know. What stood out to you about Buddy Hill shooting these last couple games, couple weeks? Um, Nothing, man. That's, that's just Buddy being Buddy. You know, I think he really <laughs> – the one tonight was crazy off the tip. I, I've never seen that before. But, um, no, nah, man, he, he puts in a lot of work into his shots. So, I mean, just to see him fall, I mean, it's just it's effortless. Obviously, when you guys played them the first time, you went with a, a bigger lineup, bigger front court, had Jalen starting, and obviously this, this time you guys went a little bit smaller. What, what was all sort of incumbent upon you when you're out there, you know, as, as the lone big guy for a lot of this when they're starting, you know, Allen and Mobley to, um, you know, to rebound and basically get things done in there? What did you kind of feel like you had to do? And what do you think you did well um, just dealing with that? Those big um, guys? Not much changed for me, honestly. I just, you know, I think when you have a two, you know, big front court lineup like that, it's, it's on your guards to really come in and uh, try to fly in and rebound. You know, it's, it's my responsibility to get the first hit, but the guards will come in and usually they get the rebound. You know, I was on the boards not myself, and that's how that's to be. You know, game in and game out. So, you know, my job doesn't change too much, but it, it's a little bit more, I guess, effort on the guards' part to get in there and make the play. Just, uh, to go back to Aaron, how have you seen him evolve just as a defender? I mean, he, he and Andrew obviously keep getting bigger and bigger assignments. Um, and, you know, I think this is the sec- obviously the second time Aaron's had to deal with Donovan. I mean, how do you see him sort of get better every time he deals with somebody, you know, at that level? Um, I think the biggest thing is the fouls. I mean, he, he only had – well, he had four tonight, but, like, that's where he's getting better, I think. And, you know, when, you're, when you draw that, uh, the assignment every night of guarding the best player, that's one of the things that can be tough is dealing with that foul trouble. They're going to get, you know, sneaky attack fouls here and there. But I think he did a much better job of keeping his composure with that because, you know, there's times where, you know, he's fouled out or it really gets in his head and he's sitting there sulking on, uh, at times about it, you know, deservedly so because he plays, you know, with so much effort. You know, until he starts earning more of the respect to the refs, that's going to happen. But I just think he's handling that part of the emotion of the game a lot better. What's obviously it seems like these last two nights were probably the best close as you guys have had. Obviously had some struggles with that in, the pre, in previous games. What do you think's made you guys better at, at just putting games way down the stretch in these last two? And how important can they be for you going forward? Uh, it's a make or miss league. You know, I think we did a, a much better job of executing and um, obviously grinding for stops is big. You know, they got a couple all stars over there, so they're going to make you know some some big time plays at times. We got to be okay with that. You know, to slow them down and you know, go out there and get our job done. But I think it's a make or miss league, and you know, we made more than them tonight. Miles Aaron just said this is maybe some of the most fun basketball that he's played in a while. He was just in the finals last year. Is that mm-hmm. maybe the case for you as well? Yeah, man, this group is special. Um, you know, I was in a similar situation my third year where we weren't projected to, you know, do too much throughout the season. And um, even with this group, you know, it, it's it's just the way we work. You know, I think that that's just a testament to who we have in this locker room and a testament to who the organization brings in here. And when you do the little things right and when you put your, you know, your effort into the game, the game rewards you. And I'm a big, like, believer in that. And I think that that's what this group has done. You know, everybody comes in on their off day. Everybody, you know, you know everybody's in the weight room. Everybody's putting their extra shots about to practice. Those may be little things, but that stuff matters. And um, when you grow those habits as young players, um, you know, the sky's the limit. And um, a lot of these guys deserve the opportunity that they're getting. You know, it's not, you know, it's earned. You know, a lot of this stuff just hasn't been handed to them or given to them. You know, I think Rick does a good job of holding everybody accountable, too. Like, you're not just going to walk out here and play these minutes. Like, you're going to play hard. And if you don't play hard, you know, you're not going to play. And um, that's not a problem with this group. And um, it's, a, it's easy for someone like myself to rally behind that. Why do you think things have clicked and molded so quickly into this season? Um... You know, some of it might be timing, some of it might be good luck, but I mean, I think a lot of it is just kind of what I alluded to earlier, like everybody just wants to work. And um, 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep saying this on Luna face. You do the little things, you know, the bigger things take care of themselves. And um, bigger things in this case is winning games. So when you're built for these moments and when you have, you know, the playmakers that we have on this team and guys that are selfless and we, when we play for each other, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be a part of, a beautiful thing to watch. And um, I think we're gonna continue to grow. And once Rick was tossed, the other assistants have to step up their responsibilities. What do you see from Lloyd and in, in that group over the final quarter and a half? Lloyd is always composed. That's one of the, the great things about him. You're not gonna, he's not like a, a Rue Ra rally kind of guy. He's always got something up his sleeve and he's always kind of getting guys to, you know, stay within the moment, you know, and enjoy the moment. And it's just a testament to the coaching staff, you know, that we put together this year. Um, I mean, these guys work tirelessly, honestly. I mean, it makes the job a lot easier for us when we know exactly what we need to do and exactly where we need to be. You know, you can try to watch all the film you want, but when you have people out there putting the X's and O's together and uh, putting the time into that, um, it's a big thing as well. So, you know, I, I speak to the hard work that the that the players do, but, you know, there's a lot more behind the scenes that goes into it. You have your video guys, you know, you have your advanced scouting, you have a lot of stuff that goes into making an organization work. And I just think that, um, you know, we're headed, headed in the right direction and we got the right people for the job. Thanks, so.